Welcome to the next video in our WordPress series. I'm Mick and I'm showing you click by click how to make this website. In the last video we went over how to change the general look and feel of your website. Now we're going to add static pages. A static page is really a helpful tool. For example, they make it easy to create an about or a contact page. We're making a photography site and people usually like to get to know the photographer. So we're going to make a simple about me page. Let's start by going to our dashboard. On the left you'll see the pages tool. There's a sample page already in there but we don't need it anymore so we'll throw it out by clicking trash. Now we'll add a new one. So click add new. It's going to ask you to give the page a title. I've already written something up for this section here so I'll go grab that and paste it in. This text editor is great. If you've used a word processor you'll have a pretty good handle on it already. All your standard format options are there. Bold, italicized, colors, etc. That looks good. One more thing I want to do for this page is add a picture. So I'm going to click where it says add media. You can drag a file in or click select files. I'll choose this photo. Here you'll notice some image settings. First, something to keep in mind when you add images to your site is that an image itself doesn't help people find your website but the text that you put in these fields can. So I'm going to complete these fields with info related to the image and my site. Since this is just a picture of me, I'm going to put my name here. And in the description, I'll just put photographer Michael Thomas. Great. Now when people search for my name, this page will have a better chance of showing up in their search results. The rest of these settings have to do with how the image will appear on my site. Okay. I think it's ready. I'll click insert into page. I want to change its placement so I'll select it and send a justify using the editing tools. There, I think that looks good. I'll click publish to make this page live. Clicking view page lets us see how it looks. Not bad, except for these comments. Let's disable those. Comments are better for a blog page, not necessarily a static page. If you click on all pages, you'll see a list of pages you've made. So far, we only have the one. Quick edit lets you make some quick changes, including disabling allow comments here on the right. Ah, that's better. Now let's make a couple more static pages before we move on. We should have a contact page for prospective clients. I'll click add new again and I'm going to call this page contact. With WordPress, you can install plugins that enable specific features such as a contact form plugin to let people email you directly from your site. We're not covering that in this video, so I'm just going to paste some contact information and a little blurb of text in for now. For my email address, I'll add a hyperlink so when people click on the email, it will automatically open a new compose window that's already addressed and ready to go. All I have to do is highlight the text I want to hyperlink and click this icon in my toolbar, then type mail to colon and the email address mick at example.com. I'll click add link and there we go. That's about all I need on my contact page. Don't forget to use the quick edit tool to disable comments on any pages you don't want people to be able to comment on or for when you don't find comments necessary. I have one more static page to make. I really want my home page clean and minimal. So I'm going to create a page for when people first visit the site. So let's click add page one more time. I'll skip putting a title on this page. And to keep things simple, I'm going to copy and paste a quote that I like and leave it at that. I'll center the text really quick, then come over and click publish. Then I'm going to go to my pages list and click quick edit on this page so I can disable the comments like I did on my about page and contact page. Okay, that's all the pages we're going to make for now. But we still need to designate which page is the home page. So I'll go to settings, then click on reading. Here I can specify which page is the first page people see. 
Instead of the latest post option, we'll change it to the static home page we just made. I'll click Save Changes and go see if it worked. Perfect, we're getting there. Here's my home page, pretty simple. Then up here is my menu and I can click on my About Me page and my contact page and everything looks great so far. Keep in mind you can make any of these pages that you add to your site your home page. Maybe you want the first thing your visitors see to be your About page or your blog. It really depends on what makes sense for your website. So now you know how to make a static page. This is one of the key parts to creating a successful website. In the next video, we'll go over blog posts and how to add dynamic content.